there. Welcome everybody. Come on in. I'm Vanessa Levin from Pre-K Pages and I'm super excited to have you here tonight. Let me know in the comments below where in the world you're watching from. So I thought I would give you a tour of my garage storage and organization system for all my teacher stuff. Um, so come on in and get comfy. And once again, I'm Vanessa Levin from Pre-K Pages, one of the most popular early childhood websites in the U.S and the founder of The Teaching Tribe, my premium membership site for teachers just like you, teachers of preschool, pre-K, kindergarten, Head Start, and more. And The Teaching Tribe has all of the paid printables, which is a $954 value, available to all members to download instantly, 24 seven at their fingertips. And of course, members don't pay that. Then we also have our Power Hour and Office Hour trainings. Those are video trainings on demand that you can watch, PD in your PJs, if you will. Then we also have our supportive community of new and veteran teachers, a safe haven for asking and answering questions. We're not open for enrollment right now, but we will go and drop the link in the comments below if you'd like to get on the waiting list to be notified the next time we open the doors to the teaching tribe. So come on in, Tom, who's here in the house tonight? Claire and Claire. Cindy. Hi. Nima. Fabulous. Kelly loves your scarf. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I forgot where I got it. Hey, Claire is one of our trail guides. The teaching trail guides are some of our uh, members that have a lot of knowledge about how the teaching tribe works and they're there to help guide you. So feel free to ask them questions in the comments. So one of the most popular questions or the most often asked questions I get at Pre-K Pages is where do I put all the stuff that I have, right? I have a lot of teaching stuff. I think that the younger the age you teach, the more stuff you have because they need to touch things, you know, in order to learn uh, because hands-on is how they learn. So I have a lot of things. I've taken you on a tour before for those of you who are regular viewers of this broadcast. Um, we're, we're live every Monday and Wednesday here on the Pre-K Pages Facebook page. And I have given a tour of my indoor closets. So in my classroom, I have a wall of closets and cabinets that I use to store a lot of the daily things I use in my classroom. But now we're in my garage. So that's right, yes, we do have part of our garage dedicated to storage for all of my preschool stuff and it has been that way for many, many years um, because we just start amassing a lot of things the younger the age group that we teach. And so right now I'm standing in front of a wall of these storage tubs. And so Tom can attest to this recently. I used to have the big giant storage tubs and I recently downsized to these file size tubs. So. Here we have all the themes um, that I have at Pre-K Pages. I have a tub for each theme, and inside is all the stuff that I might need to teach that theme. So this is the insect box, and here I can see I have some puppets, maybe some hand puppets. Um, I've got some foamy stickers. I've got my um, insect lore caterpillar house. I've got... Um, all kinds of things related to hands-on learning. I probably have some insect erasers and counters and things like that. Um, so the Halloween box I know is stuffed full because I just I just pared that one down and the lid is popping off, so I put it underneath another one. Um, so we've got school. I mean, these are not in any order. These are just how they ended up being stacked. But school, Halloween, Easter, um, zoo. Fairy tale, two fairy tale boxes. Some boxes weren't two. <laughs> that means I got a lot of stuff. And then we have insects, an ocean, Thanksgiving, Christmas, fall, Valentine's Day down at the bottom. Here we have um, jungle, gingerbread, farm, community helpers, all about me, dinosaurs, nursery rhymes. And then here we have math, spring, winter, transportation, western, and bears down at the bottom. <laughs> and so this is just a little bit of 
what we have here. I have another wall that I still haven't shown you yet. But what I thought I might do is teaching tribe members have access to these labels. So if you're watching and you're a tribe member, these labels are in the vault right now. I never did add them to pre-K pages. I just didn't know if anyone would ever buy them. But um, I will put them in our free Facebook group. So we have a Facebook group called Preschool Teachers Are Superheroes where we have more than 12,000 members. Of course, it's a free Facebook group for anyone to join. So if you would like to get these labels, I will put them over there for you if you join the group. And if you're already in the group, give me a few minutes after the broadcast airs to um, pop them over there into the files section of the group. So I'll put them over there as a freebie for you um, because I still have more labels because we haven't looked at the other side of the garage yet. Um, and I do have at each end of this um, this wall, I have it's stuff that I haven't gone through and culled yet. So there's lots of, these are the big boxes I used to have. I have to go through and pare those down. A lot of those are um, decor items and big bulky things. I just have to go through and pare those down. So once I pare those down, I'll probably have another tower here. So any questions so far, Tom? Uh, no, but 180 people watching. Oh, great. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in and not watching the World Series. <laughs> so we are going to um, turn it around. And this is my garage, so you will see our water heater. We're going to turn it around here. Okay, you think this way? <laughs> and this is the garage door. So over here, um, several years ago, I wanted a quick and easy way. If you, if you notice on the other wall, the boxes are stacked on top of each other. So I have to take a box down and then get the box I want out and restack them, which is kind of a pain. And I needed to be able to get things in and out quickly. So I found this PVC storage unit on Amazon. I'll go back and pop a link in later. Since we're, since Tom is my cameraman tonight, um, he's the only other person I have. So we'll have to go add links later. But this is a PVC storage unit and it comes in one long skinny box and then you just put it together. It comes with screws and stuff. And this allows me to grab a box and pull it out really quickly without having to stack, unstack and stack the boxes. So what, what I've done over here is um, I really wanted to be able to quickly find my things over here because these might need to be grabbed more quickly. Like a lot of these you'll see in a moment are my presentation sessions. So I go all over the country and I present to teachers just like you in person at conferences, workshops, and school districts. And so some of these boxes I use for my training sessions. So if I'm going to be presenting a session like I am uh, this Friday in Longview, Texas at the Methodist Preschool Teachers Conference, I need to grab the sessions that I am presenting really quickly and take everything out of that box and put it into my suitcase and so forth. So this really helps me preparing for my presentations, but also setting up dramatic play. Because, um, you know, it's Friday night and you got to, on Friday night, you got to get everything ready for the next week. So here I have some of my um, popular dramatic play kits and then all of the matching stuff that goes with it, right? All of the hands-on stuff that each of the dramatic play centers need. So up here at the top we have my Santa's workshop um, and then the taco restaurant, the grocery store. Do your theme boxes fit in the PVC storage unit? Uh, I haven't tried yet. Those are brand, those are brand new, um, so I don't know. I don't think so. I think they're a little too tall. Um, so these are just file boxes from Walmart. This, this is what this PVC storage unit was designed to fit was these bankers boxes, these storage boxes. So Santa's Workshop, Taco Restaurant, Grocery Store, Pumpkin Patch, Chinese Restaurant, Flower Shop and Pizzeria. So some of these share boxes, if I can, because I have 22 of them. Uh, bakery and ice cream parlor. Um, over here we have the apple orchard, the doctor's office and the post office, the birthday party. And then we get into my presenting session. So I, I put these in different color. Um, so all the yellow are dramatic play and all of these are sessions that I present. And, those of you from the Teaching Tribe might recognize some of these sessions as ones that you have seen before. Um, and then I do have a bunch of other, so I still have more storage, you guys. <laughs> I have more of these boxes in my classroom and in our guest room, so this is not all of them. I'm sure Tom is cringing as I say this. Um, 
But what do they have inside them? Um, probably like the grocery store. Why, why do some boxes have numbers on them? Oh, just left over, right? that's leftover. I've yeah. used these boxes so many times. I think I used to have them numbered and I had all my sessions that I presented numbered. Um, and I, I think I redid the, all the whole thing. <laughs> um, so here's a lot of my dramatic play food that I would use for my grocery store um, dramatic play kit. And I'll pop those links in there when we're done tonight. Where do you get the boxes? A banker's boxes you can get at Walmart in the office supply section. Um, but <laughs> I ordered a bunch of felt food from Etsy one time when I did the farmer's market. So the farmer's market's in here too. And your theme boxes, do you have the books and games that go along with those things? Um, you can go back and watch um, my previous broadcast on my other classroom storage because I keep the books in inside, um, the, inside in my classroom. And I have um, book tub storage labels. So I keep the books separate. Unless the book is too big to fit on the shelf in my classroom, and then in that case, they're in the boxes. So the answer is yes and no. <laughs> what, what size are the boxes? They're just standard baker's they're boxes. They're standard file boxes. Yeah. They're standard baker's boxes. So if you were to go to Walmart, to the office supply section, and look for these boxes, they usually come in packs of two or packs of to six. 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 Yeah. Um, and if you flip them one side, they're letter, and the other side, they're legal, right? They're designed for legal, I don't, more legal I don't storage. Know. Um, but they, um, they're very cheap. They're, you know, they're cardboard, so they won't withstand a flood or a hurricane or anything like that. But they have different grades, you know, heavy duty and regular. Oh, I don't, I don't know anything about that. I usually send Tom to Walmart to get my boxes for me. Um, but these are standard file boxes. So anytime you see somebody in a movie who's quitting their job, they have a file box in their hand. That's the standard file box size. So it's about this big. Um, so I keep the books in the house, um, in the classroom. I have individual storage tubs for each theme and each tub is labeled uh, because a lot of times I'm planning my lessons using the books and a lot of times a lot of books cross over from different themes and so I like to have those at my fingertips and they're like really precious to me and so I want to keep them safe from the elements. This is our garage so it is um, rather safe and dry but when it comes to books I just don't think you can be too careful but that's just me and um, it, where you store them is up to you, but um, that's how I store uh, the dramatic play stuff. Any other questions, Tom? Okay. And then these are my sessions. And then over here, I have yet more, you guys. <laughs> I know, you're like, this lady's crazy. Um, so over here, we have another one of these PVC storage units. Um, and let's see, there's three, six, nine, twelve. So 18 boxes fit in each one. I have two of these, so you do the math there. Um, and over here is more of the stuff for centers. So I change my, the things, you know, the materials that are in my centers, I change those out occasionally based on student interest and their ability levels. So what I have in the math center at the beginning of the year might be different than what I have in the end of the year and so forth. So I have a lot of different things I change up. So here we've got writing, these are things for the writing center that I might add in. I have some gel writing tablets and some magic slates and things like that, chalkboards. Um, so I can swap them out with my like dry erase boards. I've got literacy center stuff that I can change out um, as the children's interests in their abilities uh, develop during the course of the year. Um, some years I had kids that needed help with colors, uh, especially with my English language learners, so I have some color stuff there if we need it. Um, trains, I always like to do something with trains and get trains out during the year. We have math manipulatives. I have several boxes of math manipulatives <laughs> scattered throughout here. Um, more literacy. Um, some of these are for the vendor booths that I run when I go to conferences, so we just put those in yellow because sometimes I send Tom out here to get things for the booth. Jelena says she's retiring soon and she's going to have the cleanest garage around. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> um, flannel stories. I have a whole box of flannel stories. I'm really big on flannel stories. Um, puppets. Um, I love puppets, but I have special ones I get out at certain times of the year, so they live here. Um, these are for our Teaching Tribe meetups. I have special prizes in there for my Teaching Tribe folks. I'll see the next group of Teaching Tribe uh, members in Atlanta on November 18th. And I send out the location, so you guys, I hope you're excited. I am. 
Uh, potato heads, I kind of have a potato head problem. I have a lot of potato heads. I found an entire like 26 gallon tub of potato heads at a garage sale one time. And this is what I've left with. I've been slowly paring them down, but I still can't get rid of them all. They're just so engaging for kids. Um, can you show uh, just some of the things you keep in your boxes? Sure. Um, down, I'll just, uh, let me finish this row. Okay. Um, blocks, I have um, some bigger blocks in here that I get out sometimes. And then in the bottom, vehicles for the block center. Have you ever taught a grade besides preschool? Have I ever taught anything besides pre-K? Yes, I taught kindergarten too. And when I was at Head Start, I had one class of three-year-olds and one class of four-year-olds. So they did it by age did you, level. When you taught in Korea, did you? I taught in Korea. At Korea, I taught all grades. I taught preschool all the way up through high school. Um, these are some of my color bags. So like when, I, when I, I've done colors before. Um, so what I like to do, one of my favorite things is, is to collect junk. Uh, a lot of these come from the lost and found at my school <laughs> or the library where my mom worked or <laughs> things in my classroom that, <laughs> that didn't have the pieces anymore. Um, so I just collected them by color and then um, <laughs> Here's the Teletubby. All kinds of stuff by color. And then the years when I had the younger kids who needed help with colors, then I would get these out and we would do color activities. And for my second language learners, it was really helpful. So I have a Ziploc bag of all the different colors in here. And I just collected things for many years of different colors. And so that way it's hands-on. They can sort them, use them for vocabulary development and all that great stuff. So Where does Tom keep all those things? <laughs> Well, Tom, are you going to answer that? No comment. No comment. <laughs> yes, there's not, there's not much out here for Tom. Um, so I have these 18, those 18, and then uh, 4, 8, 10, 10, 32 tubs on the other side. <laughs> I never counted them all before like that. That's a lot of tubs. <laughs> um, so that is how I store my teaching stuff that I don't need immediately every day. So in my other video that I gave, I gave you a tour. I've given tours of my classroom before and my storage cabinets. You can go back and watch those. Um, and in the storage cabinets, there's gonna be all my arts and crafts supplies that I might need on a daily basis. You know, all my crayons and my colored pencils and my cotton balls and my coffee filters and my pipe cleaners and my wiggly eyes. You know, all that great stuff that makes pre-K pre-K, right? Um, all my magnetic letters, all my books, um, everything I need for science experiments and paper and glue and scissors and all that great stuff. That's all up in my classroom in the storage cabinets. And down here in the garage are the things that I can just get out every now and again and I can take them to my classroom. And that's what I used to do when I worked in the public schools. I taught public pre-K or Incredibly funded pre-K for 20 years and I would put the boxes in my car and drive off to school on a Friday or a Monday with a car full of boxes and I would take a car full of boxes home and switch them out so just... Maria says she has over 40 totes yes Serena says that she got organized because of you oh thank you yes we had an organization challenge this summer that was a lot of fun for a lot of you so I'm so happy. So if you want to grab the labels, um, go ahead, if you're not already a member of Preschool Teachers Are Superheroes, our free Facebook group with more than 12,000 members, go ahead and request to join that group. You do have to answer the questions in order to be approved, but I will put the labels in the files section of the Preschool Teachers Are Superheroes Facebook group. So if you're already a member, give me a few minutes to pop those over into the files and, um, and then you can go and grab them. So I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. I will go back and we will add links to the PVC storage units as well as um, anything else I mentioned <laughs> tonight. I'll have to go back and rewatch it to see what I said. <laughs> Um, but I hope that you got some ideas that you can use. I'll drop links to the other tours that I've given in the classroom and the um, storage cabinets as well. So I want to thank everyone for watching. If you know anybody who could use some storage and organization organizational tips for their preschool classroom, go ahead and um, tag them or share this post with them, this video with them. And um, 
I just want to thank everyone for coming tonight. And if you're not a member of the Teaching Tribe and you want to check it out, go ahead and put your name on the waiting list. We'll drop a link for you in just a minute. And you can have access 24-7 to all of the paid printables from Pre-K Pages, which is almost a $1,000 value, as well as more than 40 hours of on-demand video training. Each one comes with a certificate of attendance. Um, that you PD and your PJs, you can watch them at home, and then also our supportive community of new and veteran teachers, in addition to all the prizes and the meetups and the professional book studies that we do. So thanks a lot for watching. I will see you all again Monday. Bye.